has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Hello guys, my name's iMac117 and today I am checking out the Marvel Legends Gamerverse Abomination Way from the new Avengers video game. Uh, this is Captain America and Captain America is quite, quite different to other Captain Americas. Now, sorry about the brightness stuff that will be, it's just weird. Don't understand it on my computer, but whatever. But anyway, this is a very different different kind of looking Captain America. It is it is very different. It's very bulkier. It's very soldier-like, if anything. And I kind of like it. I do like it for that reason. You know, it is different. You know, it does remind me of the Winter Soldier look a little bit, but obviously we'll get more into that uh, during the video. But so far, let's look at the box itself first. So as you can see, it says Gameverse up here, Avengers, Captain America, the shield would be here, and Captain America would be there. Uh, on the side here, you got some nice artwork of the video game. On the back here, you got some more artwork. you got a little biome about Steve Rogers there. Uh, you got to see the whole wave here. And as you can see, Captain America does not come with an abomination bit. So that means you don't technically speaking need to get him if you really don't want to to build this whole wave you know like to me the only time i've really done that is with the kingpin wave i didn't want the the spider-man with like eight arms or whatever it looked weird it looked bad but anyway so as you can see it's got some other stuff down here i don't know look at the base of the character or something like that uh some more warnings down here the marvel symbol the hasbro symbol there uh we got on the, on the other side we got the same artwork just i think it's just reversed on the top here we got the avengers symbol there and yeah and the game of thing as well but and on the bottom barcode but yeah so let's check out our captain america now i'm just going to take the shield off his back for now which i'll show you how that works but pretty much this is the character here and he looks really really cool i i personally just think he looks cool i mean i don't know about other people but i kind of like the design for him it's just kind of it's bulky it's soldier looking it's really dark on my camera. What the hell? It's really dark. It's like, maybe it's just, maybe it's like screen. I don't know. But yeah, he is a darker looking blue though. He is a dark blue compared to some other Avengers figs. Um, but yeah, we might as well, I'll show you the head first. So the head is kind of, is it going to focus is the question. There we go. So there we are. And my eyes actually came out really good. Sometimes, especially with these type of characters, with the helmets and stuff, and you can see two eyes, the eyes can come out really terrible. But luckily, this one did come out pretty good. But yeah, very nice helmet design, I will say. I kind of like it. I do like it. It's, um, as I said, very military, and I kind of like it like that. So there's the peg that you would put the shield in, by the way. Um, yeah, but, and then, obviously, here we got the American symbol here, which is kind of, you know whatever <laughs> americans no i'm just joking um he does have a trigger finger hand as well which is kind of weird but then on the other hand it's a fisted hand so i but he doesn't come with a gun or anything and and from what we've seen in the game and all that he doesn't use a gun but then again if i do want to put a gun in his hand i'll try that out now this is the punisher's gun from the I mean, I could fiddle around more, but obviously you'd put the trigger finger in there, but that, that works. I mean, that, that, that doesn't look terrible, you know, but obviously I think, you know, mess, mess around with that a little bit more in the trigger, in the, and you would get this trigger finger actually in there, but I'm not going to waste my time doing that because I will bore the audience. Anyway, but I really like the design here. Um, I like the chest bit. I like how he's kind of got the kind of pouches there, which is pretty cool. Um, you can, if you do lean back, you can kind of see up there, probably not with my um, settings and stuff, but then he's got a lot of pouches here and here, which is, you know, it's like, he's just ready to go, he's ready to he's just take on some enemies, um, so you can tilt, you can't, he's probably can tilt back a little bit more than forwards, I would say, so he's like not looking at someone like, you hydra scum, you know, or whatever. Or aim, I guess aim is the main thing. It does have a little code there, but that's like 
<laughs> I think that's just like, you know, the toy brand stuff. That looks bad. Someone get rid of that for me. But, um, and then the knee pads here. I kind of like, I, I kind of like with these figures, like, I think, especially Doctor Doom. I remember if you've, if you've ever seen that fig, <coughs> you can kick his own ass, as Fush would say. There we are. Ding! <laughs> but I kind of like, like, with Doctor Doom, he had, like, all these armor pieces around his whole entire body, and like they were able to put these knee pads here so it like doesn't look like the joint i guess which is you can't see the joint that's what i'm trying to say um which is really clever which is really cool but he's kind of like wearing like really baggy pants and then the boots here i feel like the boots switch wait one has shoelaces up here and one doesn't oh wait a minute mine's been turned right around i was like what the hell there you go that was weird. I'm like, oh, I've never noticed that before. <laughs> the shoelaces, that was... Ugh, you saw it anyway. But yeah, I think the shoes are actually borrowed from the Punisher. I might be wrong about that, but they kind of look very similar to that uh, kind of design. <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe I did not notice it. Oh, well, shit. There you go. But um, yeah, but very cool looking Captain America. And as I said, I kind of just like that he's somewhat different you know he's a different looking cap but the shield itself here is uh also i'll put that down actually and i will go back up so we can see that better there we are so the shield design is very different to the like normal avengers shield designs which i do have i didn't take it off its hand but but you know i mean this is the dirtier looking version but as you can see the star in the middle is much smaller compared to this one i think overall it's the same size i think this one might be slightly bigger but it's kind of the same design um but the other thing that's really different is the inside of this so it's kind of this clip type action thing which i'll show you how that works and then compared to like say the movie captain america's where it has the straps which i kind of like a little bit more but then again i feel like this works the only thing i am concerned about is that it feels like you can really easily snap these which is not good okay um but i'll show you first so pretty much how so as you can see on the back there which i really like this is the one thing i do like about the shield though is that it has this kind of um you know cool thing that you can put on his back and that looks fine like that looks cool like i can see this captain america being more of a fighter and using the shield you know, maybe later kind of thing. Like, you'll use it to throw it at enemies and stuff, but it's more um, hands-on combat, which is really cool. Um, but then, obviously, you just clip that out like that. And then, I find the best way of doing it is you, like, kind of clip it. You either clip it on up here, if I'm putting in the right thing there. If my hand, you kind of clip it downwards like th that. And it kind of in between the brown stuff. And then it kind of just stays in there. It looks a bit weird. Like, the only thing I don't like, it, it's kind of hard to kind of make him look like he's having it on the side of him. You know, it's kind of more like in front of him. But still, I think that looks fine. You know, I think if you make him do the... Oh, can he do the salute? <laughs> kind of. Not really. <laughs> um, but, you know, and then give him a gun or something. I think that, like, you know, that would look fine-ish kind of thing. But, yeah, so the shield kind of steps in there pretty fine. But I will say, just be really careful with that, uh, you know, to, especially with younger viewers, because, you know, some people, like, kind of push them on and then snap them immediately. They do, f it does feel like it's got a snap, though. That's the only thing. I, I kind of like, oh, jeez. Like, I don't want to take it out very much. But then that's the other thing. Like, I feel like it's very, like, once you, like, I don't know, smack it against someone, it feels like it will, like, kind of s slip out kind of thing. That was my man. Go check out that review as well. Um... But yeah, that, you know, but overall, that looks fine. I think he stands. Does he stand well? He kind of, I don't know. He kind of like, like, he likes leaning that way. Oh, there we go. Okay. That looks good. Okay. I better do the comparisons before he falls over. Okay. So here we have the Infinity War Captain America and the uh, Endgame Captain America that you saw before. I was going to grab the first Avenger Captain America, but the problem with that is, is that he can't really stand very well well if i must be honest but anyway but as you can see they're kind of all the same height i mean i think obviously he's the tallest because of his hair but they're kind of yeah they all kind of suit the same height which is really 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 cool um personally i think my favorite at least captain america's is the infinity war 
I mean, sorry, Endgame Captain America here. That one there. And, but obviously it comes from Mjolnir as well. But it works. Like, I can see this once again being like he's changing suits if you want to go that way. But very, very, very cool Iron Man. I mean, Iron Man. Captain America's. Okay, here he is with the Iron Man from the same video game and Miss Marvel. If you wonder why she's a bit forward, I, honestly, the one thing I have with these figs, I don't know why, but it's just these ones. They all feel like they're gonna fall forward, but they're not. But I mean, I'm telling you, like a little tilt from this, like that's gone and then that's gone. That's the only thing that's really annoying. But these are all from the same wave. Um, and the camera cuts out again. Fucking hell, it's really irritating me. But anyway, these are all from the same Game Reverse Wave, as you can see. Um, the Miss Marvel, obviously, a bit smaller, but that, that works. And I feel like, you know, all of them together looks really, really awesome. But overall, it's not my favorite Captain America. I mean, I still really like it. I think I like it that it's very different. It's not like your normal... Uh, Captain America's, it's kind of taking a different look, different design, different pictures, I mean, pictures, different, um, colors, where'd they get pictures from? Different colors and stuff, the only thing I just don't like is that it kind of just has this means to lean forward, as you can see, that's the only thing that really irritates me, and that just seems to be a thing with most of my Captain Americas, I mean, the only ones that, for me, that just can stand no problem is this one here, like, he's just like, yo, very, this is easy, you know, but, I mean, I guess that's just figures in general, you always just have to try and get them to somewhat the right position, so they don't fall over and stuff, but I just hope this isn't going to be one of those ones that it's like, you know, once he falls, it's a domino effect kind of thing, I really hope it isn't, but either way, I'm very happy I've got this fig, you know, I, I hope they do the rest of the game of this, well, the worst, <laughs> the rest of the Avengers figs at some point as well, but, yeah, but anyway guys, thanks so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video, ciao.